Hi, in this video, we will have quick revision of last video's topic that is Dumas equivalent system and then we will have discussion on correction couple. To check our understanding of dynamical equivalent system, we will start with a numerical on screen. Numerical is shown. Mass of body is 100 kg and its radius of gyration is 10 cm. We have to find dynamical equivalent system of two masses when one of the mass is located at 5 cm distance from CG. For given numerical, we can write given data as mass is 100 kg. So we will write m is 100, radius of gyration is 10 cm, so k will be 10. And one of the mass is at distance 5 cm from CG. So let us say that distance is L1. What we have to do is we have to find dynamically equivalent system of two masses. So what is its meaning? So we know we are having one rigid body. It is having mass. And we have to convert it into two point masses. Here you can notice M1 and M2 are two masses. And they are at distance L1 and L2 from CG respectively. Now those two point masses should behave in the same manner as original body which is having mass M. Certain conditions should be satisfied at that time only two mass will behave in the same manner as original body. Those conditions are M1 plus M2 equal to M and sum of masses of two bodies should be equal to mass of original body. Second condition is moment due to mass which is on left hand side should be equal to moment due to mass which is on right hand side. What is its meaning? Its meaning is that M1 L1 should be equal to M2 L2 and at that time only CG will fall at the same location as that of original rigid body. And third condition is mass moment of inertia of two mass system should be equal to mass moment of inertia of original rigid body. And that mass moment of inertia is about CG. So mass moment of inertia of two mass system about CG will be M1 L1 square plus M2 L2 square and it should be equal to mk square which is mass moment of inertia of original rigid body when only first two conditions are satisfied at that time two mass system is statically equivalent system if all three conditions are satisfied then two mass system is dynamically equivalent system from first two equations or from first two conditions we can write relation for m1 as ml2 divided by l1 plus l2 and for M2, we can write M L1 divided by L1 plus L2. In last video, we have also applied labor rule to understand this. So M1 is equal to total mass of original body multiplied by arm opposite to M1, that is L2, divided by distance between M1 and M2, which is L1 plus L2. Same thing we can apply for M2, total mass multiplied by arm opposite to M2, which is L1, divided by distance between M1 and M2 which is L1 plus L2. When you will put M1 and M2 in equation 3 at that time we will have relation K square equal to L1 L2 or we can say L1 L2 equal to K square. We will come back to numerical given data is written M is equal to 100 kg as mass of body is 100 kg and radius of gyration for body is 10 cm so K is equal to 10 cm. We have to find dynamical equivalent system of two masses when one of the mass is located at 5 cm distance from CG. Let us denote that distance by L1. L1 is equal to 5 cm. As we have to find dynamical equivalent system of two masses, its meaning is that we have to find M1 and M2 and their distances from CG. One distance is already given and we have denoted it by L1. From previous three conditions for dynamically equivalent system, we can write k square equal to L1, L2. As k is known, L1 is known, so very easily we can find L2. So L2 is 20 centimeter. For M1, we can write relation ML2 divided by L1 plus L2. And for M2, we can write relation ML1 divided by L1 plus L2 or we can also write other relation as M minus M1. As we are knowing L1 and L2 and total mass of body which is 100, very easily we can find M1 and M2. M1 is 80 kg and M2 obtained by calculation is 20 kg. Now we will discuss one more numerical. 
on screen data is given mass of body is 100 kg radius of gyration is 10 cm and in two mass system one mass is located at 6 cm distance from cg and other mass is at 8 cm distance from cg so we will deal with this piece of information first we will write down given data m is 100 as mass of body is 100 radius of gyration is 10 so k is equal to 10 cm Two masses are placed arbitrarily. So one is at 6 cm from CG and other is at 8 cm. So we will denote it by L1 and L2 respectively. So L1 is 6 cm and L2 is 8 cm. As we are knowing L1, L2 and total mass of original body. So very easily we can find M1 and M2. So M1 obtained is 57.14 kg and M2 is 42.86 kg. We are knowing M1, M2, we are knowing L1, L2, but whether this system is dynamically equivalent to original body, which is having 100 kg mass and radius of gyration 10 cm, we can verify it. How we can verify it? You can notice we are having relation k square equal to L1, L2, or we can say L1, L2 equal to k square, and that relation is obtained from three conditions. If L1 L2 equal to k square that condition is satisfied at that time we can say it is dynamically equivalent system in this case L1 is 6 cm L2 is 8 L1 L2 is 48 but L1 L2 is not equal to k square as k square is 100 so whatever system we are having whatever two mass system we are having it is not dynamically equivalent system Two mass system in second numerical is non-dynamically equivalent system but it will have some radius of gyration. How we can obtain that radius of gyration? We can equip L1 L2 equal to k dash square. Here k dash indicates radius of gyration for non-dynamically equivalent system. And L1 L2 will be 48 so its square root will be k dash which is radius of gyration for non-dynamically equivalent system and here you can notice it is 6.92 cm which is very different than radius of gyration of actual body and for actual body k is 10 and k dash is 6.92 difference is there due to that difference only two mass system in this numerical is non-dynamically equivalent system two mass dynamically equivalent system will have radius of gyration same as original rigid body while two mass non dynamically equivalent system will have radius of gyration which will be different than radius of gyration of actual body in both system let it be dynamically equivalent or non dynamically equivalent total summation of two masses will be equal to mass of original body so in other words we can say mass moment of inertia of two mass dynamically equivalent system will be same as mass moment of inertia of original body but for non dynamically equivalent system mass moment of inertia of two mass system will not be same as mass moment of inertia of original body correction couple is difference in torques so first torque is torque needed to accelerate non-dynamically equivalent system and second torque is torque which is needed to accelerate dynamically equivalent system. Difference between these two torques is correction couple. In linear system we have force, in rotary system we have torque. Relation for force is given by mass into acceleration. In the same manner, relation for torque will be given by I into alpha. In case of rotary system, force is replaced by torque, mass is replaced by mass moment of inertia, and acceleration is replaced by angular acceleration. L1 dash and L2 dash are distance of masses M1 and M2 in two mass non-dynamically equivalent system. When correction couple is applied to non-dynamically equivalent system, at that time, non-dynamically equivalent system will behave same as dynamically equivalent system.